Draconid Meteor Shower 2021 Unlike many meteor showers, the draconids are short-lived. In 2021, watch these meteors at nightfall and early evening on October 8. You might catch some on the nights before and after as well. Fortunately, the thin waxing crescent moon sets before nightfall and will hinder this year's draconid shower. The radiant point for the draconid meteor shower almost coincides with the head of the constellation Draco the dragon in the northern sky. That's why the draconids are best viewed from the northern hemisphere. The draconid shower is a real oddity, in that the radiant point stands highest in the sky as darkness falls. That means that, unlike many meteor showers, more draconids are likely to fly in the evening hours than in the morning hours after midnight. This shower is usually a sleeper, producing only a handful of languid meteors per hour in most years. But watch out if the dragon awakes. In rare instances, Fiery Draco has been known to spew forth many hundreds of meteors in a single hour. October's Draconid Meteor Shower is sometimes called the Jacobinids. This shower produced awesome meteor displays in 1933 and 1946, with thousands of meteors per hour seen in those years. European observers saw over 600 meteors per hour in 2011. The Draconid Shower is active between October 6 and 10. As noted above, the best evening to watch in 2021 is likely October 8. Try the evenings of October 7 and 9 also. Be sure to watch in a dark sky. The short-lived shower, which occurs from October 6 to 10, marks the first since August spectacular Perseids and is named from the constellation Draco. While the meteors streaking through the sky can be traced back to Draco's dragon head, the radiant point from which the space rocks appear to emanate, the shooting stars can be seen from all areas of the sky. Notably, the American Meteor Society explained, the draconids are best seen in the evening just shortly after nightfall. Where is the radiant point of the draconid shower? The draconid meteors, when traced backward, radiate from the head of Draco the dragon, near the stars Eltonin and Rastavan. See the two charts above. The draconids are best in the evening, instead of before dawn, because the winged dragon, the shower's radiant point, flies highest in the October sky at nightfall. As night passes, no matter where you are on Earth, the radiant point sinks lower in your sky. You don't have to locate Draco the dragon to watch the draconids. These meteors fly every which way through the starry sky. But finding Draco is fun and relatively easy. How many draconids will you see? In general, the draconids aren't a rich shower unless their parent comet is nearby. They typically produce only about 5 meteors per hour. This annual meteor shower happens when Earth in its orbit crosses the orbital path of Comet 21P slash Jacobini Zinner. Debris left behind by this comet collides with the Earth's upper atmosphere to burn up as draconid meteors. This comet has an orbital period of about 6.6 .6 years. It's about six times more distant at its farthest point from the Sun than at its nearest point. At Aphelion, its most distant point, it's farther out than the planet Jupiter. At Perihelion, its closest point to the Sun. It's about the Earth's distance from the Sun. On rare occasions, when the peak of the shower coincides with the comet's perihelion, this shower has been known to rain down hundreds or even thousands of meteors in an hour. The last perihelion of the comet was September 10, 2018. On that same night, Comet 21P slash Jacobini Center came closer to Earth than it had in 72 years. Consequently, the Draconids had an outburst in 2018. We posted best pics of the comet as it swept safely past. Because this comet has an orbital period of nearly seven years, the next perihelion won't come until 2025. So we're not expecting any outbursts this year. But then, no one really knows for sure. For people who enjoyed meteor showers, that's part of the fun. As a wise person once said, meteor showers are like fishing. You go, and sometimes you catch something. Happy watching!